Coming up next on Auto Show TV, we look at all the ways you can get your Jeep Wrangler ready for spring and summer. Plus, Victoria Moran visits Courtesy Hyundai in Pawtucket and takes a look at the 2015 Sonata. Also, will you buy or lease your next vehicle? We have some things you should know. Plus, springtime car care with Jim Melvin at Tire Pros. All that and more next on our Mother's Day edition of Auto Show TV. Come on, Dennis, this is easy. Yeah. You can. Uh, what am I doing? It's all you. It's It's Auto Show TV. Good morning, welcome to Auto Show TV this morning. I'm John Coletto. Happy Mother's Day. Can you tell where we are this morning? If you guessed the grist mill in Seekonk, you're correct. Not a bad place to be on Mother's Day, but we're actually here today to talk about the Jeep Wrangler and all the different configurations and the possibilities from the hard top to the soft top to no top at all. And we'll be joined by Dennis Freeman from Elmwood in just a few minutes. But first, Victoria starts us off at Courtesy Hyundai. Good morning. Joining us this morning is General Sales Manager Eric De Palma. Eric, why don't you tell us a little about Courtesy Hyundai? Well, we're located at 939 Newport Ave, Pawtucket. We're one of the most aggressive Hyundai sell selling dealerships in all of Rhode Island. Um, we're all about service and taking care of our customers, hence the name Courtesy. <laughs> so what makes you stand out from the rest of the dealerships here in the area? Well, to start, uh, we have a 20-year, 200,000-mile warranty. We double the manufacturers, okay? The manufacturer gives you 10 years, 100,000 miles. Okay, if you do all of your service with us, we're going to double that. We also, because we have a, a, a low overhead facility, we can pass on the savings to our customers, therefore being more aggressive and giving the opportunity for these customers to save a lot of money in the process. Well, Memorial Day is coming up in a couple weeks. I heard you guys are having a big sales event. Why don't you tell us about it? Yes, it's called the uh, Elimination Event Sale. Um, it's Memorial Day weekend. It's four days, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. And it's pretty much a, a, a reduction sale. We're trying to uh, you know, move all of our used car inventory as much as possible. We have all different makes and models, SUVs, sedans, coupes, I mean anything you can think of, we pretty much have it. I'm with sales manager Jamie Dodona. Jamie, what did you have for us today? Well today, Victoria, I'm going to show you the newly redesigned 2015 Sonata. This vehicle here is actually the entry level, which is called the SE. It actually has five trim levels, the Eco, the SE, the Limited, the Sport, and the hybrid. The vehicle also comes with three different engines. Uh, it's been designed with a new grille, which makes the front very much aggressive looking. You can see the LED uh, daytime running lights, which is a great visual for day as well as night. So one of the reasons why I picked the SC, the entry level, is because it has so many standard features that are not available on other manufacturers' entry levels such as standard 16-inch alloy wheels. Uh, they also come available in 17-inch alloys on the Sport and Limited model. And the 18-inch alloys you can also get when you do desire the 2.0 turbo engine. Very nice, a very versatile car. Very versatile. What's big about Hyundai is they really go after safety. They're all about safety. This vehicle has an overall five-star crash rating. This vehicle comes standard with vehicle stability control traction control, anti-lock braking system. It also has seven airbags, blind spot detection, cross traffic behind the rear of the vehicle, small child crosses behind, you can't see them. An alarm goes off to just let you know way ahead of time before you even, the car's still in park and the alarm's going off. It comes equipped with a rear view camera. Okay, Victoria, as I stated earlier, the entry level does come with a lot of great standard features, such as power windows, power locks, power mirrors, cruise control. Uh, if you walk, work across the steering wheel, you see to your left side, that left side is your Bluetooth. For your phone, mm -hmm. for answering, you'll see there's a, uh, a little symbol that shows a, a person speaking. Mm -hmm. It's also, also voice controlled. On the right side is your cruise control and also your monitoring system. Uh, if you move that button up and down, you can see it'll, it'll give you your trip modes, it'll give you your, your range for your gas mileage, it'll give you your average miles per gallon, your average miles per hour that the car is driven. Up here, as you can see, which I'm sure is important to you, is your sunglass holder. That's right, holder. and it's big enough for my shades. <laughs> 
uh, and we'll work down to the mirror, which has your, this is called Blue Link, where it, it actually has a automatic collision monitoring system. If the vehicle's in an accident, a uh, person will actually talk to you and ask you if everything is okay, which is a great safety feature. That again. is great. Uh, it has the SOS emergency button. And the third button is, is a 24-hour roadside assistance. Anytime you have any problems with the vehicle, you're stuck somewhere, flat tire, ran out of gas, dead battery, you push that button, it'll be another, again, an actual person speaking with you. You give them the location and they will send a truck to you. You'll see you have a little compartment here in the front, which has your iPod and your MP3 player hookups there. You also have two 12 volt charging systems where you know a lot of folks these days everybody has a cell phone they're in their cars they want to charge it you have a passenger whose phone is battery is low and yours is low you have two of them so you can both charge your phone no problem <laughs> okay as you work your way up here you'll see uh, this is your climate control area the different modes with your a rear window defogger and your AC and your heat. It's also available with a dual climate control system on other models. And now we'll get into the radio part of the, of the vehicle. We'll turn this on here. It has a touch screen where you can actually just touch the different modes you want, whether it's AM, FM. Uh, so everything's pretty much push button. Uh, as far as the radio stations, the phone, uh, being voice controlled. Again, this is the entry level vehicle. Tremendous standard features on this car. With our upper trim levels, you also can get sport seating with leather bolstered seats with the cloth inserts. You also can get navigation system on the sport model and above. You, can, you will get heated seats as well as ventilated seats. It also is available with rear heated seats as well. What about a heated steering wheel? Uh, also, the heat, heated steering wheel was available on the Sport and, and, and Limited models as well. So as you can see, Victoria, it's a beautiful vehicle. Uh, we'd also like the folks to come down themselves and take a look at it and drive for themselves. We have some really low lease payments on the vehicle because the vehicle really holds its value. We're located at 939 Newport Avenue in Pawtucket, Rhode Island and we are the home of the 20-year, 200,000-mile warranty. So come on down. Great. Auto Show TV's Car Care Tips, presented by Melvin's Tire Pros, where buying tires and fixing your car is never a hassle. We're here at Tire Pros on Post Road in Warwick with Jim Melvin, our expert when it comes to auto repair. We've staggered through, our cars have staggered through just a very difficult winter. Yes. Now, what kinds of things are you seeing right now as a result? John, the biggest thing that we're seeing is just pothole damage. Sure. Suspension damage, wheel alignment issues, ball joints, struts, shocks at a staggering fashion. You know, we had just a historic winter and it's created some big problems with the roads and we're really seeing the evidence of that. Not only potholes are creating a problem, tire pressure monitor sensors. They kind of went through a very tough winter, a lot of road salt, a lot of cold temperatures, and people have that tire pressure light that's constantly coming on right now. Right. So those are the two big issues right now. Yep. Now, what about if people who have problems with their tires and they have that little bubble? Okay, that's called an impact brake. What an impact brake is, is when a tire will hit a pothole, can rub up against the tur uh, curb, you'll have that telltale bubble on, on the sidewall of the tire. Right. What it is, it's damage to the butyl liner of the tire, and where it can be a potential safety issue is you don't see the chewed up butyl liner because it's on the inside of the tire. So you're driving where you could have a potential tire failure on the highway. So inspect your tires, make sure there's no bubbles or lips. And if you have one, by all means, bring it into a tire expert and have it checked out. Yeah, you can't fix that, 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 that tire's history. Unfortunately, it's a matter of replacing the tire correct. Yeah, any specials for me here at Tire Pros? I'm glad you asked. As a matter of fact, we have our pothole special. You can go online at tireprosri.com, check out our coupon, uh, coupon segment. We have the computer four-wheel alignment, computer four-wheel balance and tire rotation for $79.95. That's good at any of our five locations. That's a great deal. Those Hunter machines of yours out back are working overtime. We love them. All right, if you want to get your car fixed, you want to get an alignment for spring, come to Tire Pros right here, five locations. Where buying tires is never a hassle. The official auto loan provider of Auto Show TV is Navigant Credit Union for all your new, used, and classic car and truck financing needs. You love everything about your new ride. 
It smells so good. But maybe you could be paying a little less for it. It's not too late, you know. Let Navigant Credit Union take a look at your rate. We could help you refinance and maybe save you a little every month. What could you do with the extra money? Hmm. Huh. Road trip, maybe? Navigant Credit Union. Enjoy life's journey. I'm Brian Benoit from the Benoit family at Anchor Subaru and Anchor Nissan. So you need your Nissan serviced, but you don't want to get a second mortgage to pay for dealer service. You're thinking, maybe I should shop around. We thought the same thing, so we shopped for you. Turns out, we were even less. And with certified factory trained technicians, genuine Nissan parts designed specifically for your car, we save you time by getting it done right the first time. Better prices for you, better service for your vehicle. Another Anchor Advantage. Are you among the thousands in the New Bedford Fall River area suffering with headaches, neck pain, or back pain? You can feel better. At the Harbor Group, Dr. Psychopatis and his team provide an expert physical, orthopedic, and neurological assessment using digital x-rays all on site. And you'll enjoy a true one-on-one -on -one doctor patient relationship. The Harbor Group delivers chiropractic, physical therapy, and medicine. Choose the Harbor Group. Let our team help you get better. So call us today. Shopping for a used car just got easier, thanks to Auto Intelligence. Here are just some of the five-star recommended pre-owned dealerships in the Rhode Island area, evaluated by Auto Intelligence. See the entire list at autointelligence.org. These are dealerships which have passed our 15-point test of reputable business practices and customer satisfaction. It's a little extra peace of mind. Begin your search at autointelligence.org and find a great pre-owned car from a recommended dealer in Rhode Island and Southeastern Mass. autointelligence.org. Welcome to the Sand Trap, your virtual golf facility in Dartmouth. Now you can golf all year round because we've brought the golf course indoors using leading simulator technology and 3D high-speed cameras to evaluate your shot. Experience the sights and sounds, even the elements, as you play one of over 40 courses worldwide. The Sand Trap is great for beginners to learn the game and for avid golfers to improve their game. Enjoy the full golf course experience indoors at the Sand Trap, your virtual golf facility in Dartmouth. If you'd like more information about any of the dealers and deals you've seen on today's show or would like to view previous episodes of Auto Show TV, go to our website, theautoshow.tv. Hey, the weather's great. It's that time of year. Time to take the top off. The top off the Jeep Wrangler, that is. And if you're doing some research and you're wondering about Jeep Wrangler right now, you probably want to know about all the different possibilities. You've got hard top and soft top and no top at all, doors on, doors off. And we want to know, is it easy to flip from one to another? Well, we're going to find out right now. But Dennis Freeman from Elmwood is our Jeep expert here on Auto Show TV. When it comes to the Jeep Wrangler, the possibilities are endless, really. It's almost like no two Wranglers are exactly the same, right? You're 100% correct. Uh, the Jeep is offered in a two-door as well as a four-door. It's offered in a hard top or a soft top, and you can even opt for the dual top option where you get both the hard top and the soft top. Now, the doors come in a couple different configurations as well. You can get a soft door with a zip-up window, and it's literally a half door. Yep. The top of the door comes up and off, which leaves the lower portion of the door, and that comes off as well with just the turn of a, uh, of a screw. And, and let me also start off by saying the Jeep Wrangler gives you the best of both worlds. You get four-wheel drive for the winter and a convertible for the summer, and there's no other vehicle on the market that offers that. It's true. But this is what Wrangler owners wait for. They wait for this beautiful sunshine so they can take the tops and the doors off. Yeah. So let's take a closer look. This is the four-door Wrangler Unlimited with the Freedom three-piece hardtop. Now this hardtop is set in place in three pieces. The two front pieces, as most people would call them, are T-tops. Yep. And then you have the solid rear piece which covers the rear passengers as well as your cargo area. That piece comes off as one unit. There's three L-brackets on each side, two levers, and some long hinge screws in here. We just untwist these long screwed hinges. We undo the hinges up front, three L brackets on each side, and these tops are ready to come right off. Now one of them slightly overlaps the other, and it's the driver's side, but again, just a little push, yep. and that comes right off. It's very light. Very I mean, I light. Can take this, nothing. 
Now each Wrangler, whether it has a hard top or a soft top, comes with a soft lined storage bag. And then there's, there's a divider down the center of the bag so that you're not scratching one on top of the other and they stay separated. So simply slide these in, it's formed in the same shape as the top the bag is. So slide these in the bag, throw them in the back, and off you go. Now to take this hard top and the rear off, again, very simple. Just use your Jeep tool kit, which is supplied with every Jeep Wrangler. Three screws on each side, yep. both driver and passenger side. Unclip the electrical harness here that controls the rear window wiper and rear window washer. And this does require two people. One on each side, simply lift, walk to the back, set yep. it down. And Jeep start up everything. So not only do we have storage underneath here, but we also have a place to put our door hinges screws and uh, in our roof screws. This is the standard soft top that comes on both the two-door Wrangler and the four-door Unlimited Wrangler. Now, one of the things I want to mention is you can get the deep tinted glass in the soft top if you choose so. Now, this top obviously comes off and comes down a little bit differently than the hard top. It's all one piece on the top, but there are some nice features that you can do with this soft top. There's a little hinge on the inside of this soft top. Now you can take this soft top and from here back, flip it. Now you can get just the front portion open or basically a sky slider, very similar to removing the two front pieces in the hard top. Yep. Now these side windows are also removable and you're gonna see a lot of Wrangler owners driving down the street with just their side panels off or just their rear panel off. Again, several different options, yep. several configurations. And John, a lot of customers ask me if the windshield still fold down. And yes, they do. It is illegal to drive on the road with your windshield folded down, but you're gonna see in a lot of off-road magazines or four-wheel drive magazines, the front windshield folded down. And yes, it still does. Uh, once again, couple hinges, couple screws, and that windshield folds down. You're gonna notice two rubber tabs on the hood of all Wranglers, as well as a, uh, an anchor. That is, in fact, for the windshield. The other question I get asked a lot too is uh, regarding safety. Uh, do they roll over? Do they tip? And again, the answer is no or not more so than any other SUV. The Wranglers have a very wide extended wheelbase, so they're very stable on the road. And there's reinforced roll bars on the inside throughout the whole entire vehicle. So in the event of a crash or rollover, uh, assuming you're strapped in properly, you'll be good to go. So I hope I've piqued some interest on one of the best-selling SUVs in the Northeast. Again, best of both worlds, four-wheel drive for the winter and convertible for the summer. A lot of fun a, in the summer. A lot of fun in the summer. Yeah. Now is the best time to get a Wrangler. We've stocked up for the springtime and the summertime. This is the time to come down, take advantage of our Drive and Discover sales event going on for the month of May. Get yourself a great deal on a Wrangler. Next, exploring the buy versus lease question. You're watching Auto Show TV. You love everything about your new ride. It smells so good. But maybe you could be paying a little less for it. It's not too late, you know. Let Navigant Credit Union take a look at your rate. We could help you refinance and maybe save you a little every month. What could you do with the extra money? Hmm. Road trip, maybe? Navigant Credit Union. Enjoy life's journey. Welcome to Colonial Toyota in Smithfield, Rhode Island. Conveniently located right off of Routes 295 and 146. We're just down the street from the Lincoln Mall. I'm Michael Botfin, the service director here at Colonial Toyota with over 20 years of Toyota experience. Our main goal every day is to exceed customer expectations, whether it's scheduled maintenance or an unexpected repair. We strive to do the job right at a fair price keep you safe, and get you out and back on the road. We have 20 bays in our shop here at Colonial Toyota, 18 full-time service technicians, including techs who have achieved the highest level of certifications from Toyota, Toyota Master Diagnostic Technicians, and we have four hybrid technicians who have achieved the highest level of certification with Toyota as well. When customers arrive here at Colonial Toyota, they're able to pull right inside our building, which is really nice when there's bad weather. We meet them right at the car and review all of their service needs. If you'd like, we'd be happy to bring you into the shop to see your vehicle and explain what we're recommending and why that work needs to be done. We have over $10 million of parts available to us within 24 hours, and we also have the Toyota Tire Center. 
You can visit us at ColonialToyota.com to schedule your service appointment with us online 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, and you can view our service specials page for savings coupons we have available. If you'd like to leave your vehicle with us, we have shuttle service. We'll drive you to work or back home if you'd like. We also have rental cars available. But if you choose to wait here at Colonial, we have a convenient, comfortable waiting area right next to our sales showroom. I think the thing I'm most proud of here at Colonial Toyota is our commitment to exceed your expectations. No one likes to have to bring their vehicle in for service, but our techs do an excellent job, our pricing is very competitive, and we want it to be a positive experience for you. We welcome new customers and hope to see you soon here at Colonial Toyota. Whether it's a dazzling diamond engagement ring, a heartfelt gift, or something for yourself, come to Hanus Jewelers in Warwick. We carry all the new styles, the most popular brands, and a superb selection of loose diamonds and wedding bands. Grooms-to-be trust Hanus Jewelers in Warwick for our expertise and their peace of mind, because we know you may need some help making just the right selection. Come see why the perfect marriage proposal starts with a spectacular diamond from Hanus Jewelers, Route 2 in Warwick. If you've been in an accident, you need your car fixed quickly and hassle-free, and more importantly, repaired to pre-accident condition. Auto Intelligence provides a list of five-star recommended collision repair shops in Rhode Island and Southeastern Mass. These shops utilize the latest technology and industry standards and adhere to our strict code of ethics and business practices. They have earned a place on our recommended list. Automotive information, research, and recommendations. Find it all at autointelligence.org. Distracted driving can be deadly. You're 23 times more likely to be involved in an accident while texting and driving. Don't become another statistic. I'm attorney Larry Signori. Don't text and drive. Getting a new vehicle soon? Great. Are you going to buy it or lease it? That's the question everyone considers. Buy it or lease it? You've probably gone through this exercise, so which one makes more sense? I think all customers should consider leasing versus buying. Um, leasing gives you all the benefits of ownership with no market risk. And again, what I mean by that is you never have to worry about being upside down in your vehicle. Leases are designed to get you more vehicle for a lower monthly payment. The drawback is that there rarely is any equity for the leasee at the end of the term. So just how do they arrive at a lease payment? There's set numbers from the manufacturer from the leasing company, and then there's some variables. The variables are the price of the vehicle, which the dealer controls, the lease end value, the residual value, which is controlled by the manufacturer slash leasing company, and then there's some, some things that are controlled by the, by the leasee or the purchaser, and that's mainly mileage. How many miles are you doing? So one key to a great lease is residual value. The more the vehicle is worth at the end of the lease, the better deal you are likely to get. Cars with the highest resale value will typically have the best lease programs. And that's why Toyotas make so much sense and so many people lease Toyotas because of the strong resale value. So therefore, some vehicles make more sense to lease. Absolutely. There are, there are some, some vehicles are, are great lease vehicles and some, some just are not. And the biggest piece of that is the resale market. With the lease, you're putting out less money up front, you're putting out much less money in a payment, and at the end of the three-year lease, versus if you purchased the vehicle and financed it, if you looked at where you stood at the end of three years purchasing it and three years financing it, you've saved thousands of dollars. Um, here at Colonial, we lease almost 65% of our new car business, which is about 8% more than, than the national average, but because their programs are so strong, and the lease on values are so high, it just makes sense to drive a new Toyota every couple of years instead of playing the finance game every five. Okay, so what about buying? Getting a loan and financing the vehicle. The good thing is, if you pay it off, you own it and own whatever value the vehicle still holds, plus you no longer have a car payment. Well, a, a lot of the consumers that we work with, we focus on trying to have a payment that is affordable to them um, and sometimes that does require a loan to be six or seven years in duration. The important thing is, though, is that again, the quality of the vehicle is there to support the value. Uh, because at the end, they want to be able to trade in that vehicle and have some equity that they've built up. 
so that they have a, a down payment going into the next transaction. And with any contract, know what you are agreeing to. Understand the worst case scenarios. The lease option is attractive to folks who want to have as uh, a requirement as little down upfront and to keep their monthly payment as small as possible. But what we find is that if they look at the fine print in the contract, there are obligations that they have at the end of the term related to wear and tear, damage, mileage, that um, increases the, the overall cost. And at the end of the day, we often find that leasing costs the consumer more than owning and, and financing with a traditional car loan. So what about mileage? If you go over the miles, you will pay. But many dealers actually say it makes more sense to lease if you drive high miles. You can purchase more mileage than the typical 12 to 15,000 miles, and you can purchase it for very, very, for a very cheap amount of money. Um, building extra mileage into a lease is 10 cents a mile. It's virtually, you, you can't drive a car for 10 cents a mile. Um, it costs you more than that as you put more mileage on the car. So the manufacturer, by, by letting you purchase mileage at only 10 cents a mile, um, is, is, is taking on the brunt of the depreciation that you're, that you're putting into that car. A lot of people think they're not candidates to lease because they do too many miles. When in actuality, they do too many miles to buy. And what I mean by that is, you purchase a vehicle and buy the vehicle. You finance the vehicle for 72 or 84 months with little or no money down. Three years from now, when you go to trade that vehicle in, the vehicle has 60, 75,000 miles on it. And again, you most likely are gonna owe more than what the vehicle's worth. At least with the lease, there's a predetermined residual at the end. One bit of good advice, if you plan to lease, don't put a lot of money down. If you were to put four or $5,000 down on a lease, leave the dealership in two months, total the car. Your insurance company will pay your lease company to satisfy the lease. If they're not paying the value of the car, that four or $5,000 you put down is now gone and your insurance company is not obligated to get it back to you. So finally, here are some takeaways. Don't forget to consider the vehicle's residual value. It's best not to put a large down payment on a lease. Even if you drive 20,000 miles a year or more, it still may make sense to lease and prepay the miles up front. Read the lease contract and understand what you're getting into and know what happens if the vehicle is totaled. If you put low miles on a vehicle and you're fine with keeping it for seven, eight years or more, then it might make more sense to buy it. So do your homework, ask lots of questions, and happy car shopping. Well, wrapping things up, we learned a lot today about the redesigned 2015 Hyundai Sonata, but you really have to come here to courtesy Hyundai in Pawtucket, take it for a test drive, and really see just what a wonderful midsize sedan it really is. Happy Mother's Day, everybody, and remember, be safe on the roads this week. Don't drink and drive, and don't text and drive. This has been Auto Show TV, produced in cooperation with Auto Intelligence. Thanks to our participating dealers and sponsors. This has been Auto Show TV.